Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big Mike here. Hey, today is Thursday and I'm not at home. I'm not at work. I'm on the road heading to Missouri. So I'm going there for a friend's funeral tomorrow. Uh, but I was talking to Jerry and Susan over at Butler Family Farms. And today we're going to go visit them at their place. They're going to take me out to lunch. They're going to take me on a tour of their farm to see what it's all about. And I get to see JJ. Who's JJ? JJ is our new donkey. She is, uh, well, she's young. She hasn't been weaned yet off her mama. So, but I'm going to go out there and see JJ. Uh, she's going to be coming to MT Homestead to be part of our family. And I'm excited, guys. So, you're going to see some road tripping. You're going to see some visiting. You're going to see some eating. Uh, and guys, I'm excited. Uh, I've never, I've met Jerry and Susan before at Mid America meetup and stuff, but I wanted to go see what their place is all about. I wanted to see his tractor. So that's another thing I wanted to see. I think he's, he's collecting tractors, I guess. I don't know, but we're going to go out there and see what their business is all about. Uh, see how they're living and guys I'm excited I'm glad you're coming along with me and here we go guys going to Butler Family Farm There's Jerry. There's Susan. Hey, Mike. Welcome to Butler. You look like you're ready to go to the beach. Uh, I, 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 I have the door pants and it's yeah. like surgery. So. You oh, wore wow. once or well, twice. Well, once or twice, yeah. Hold this. I can't hug with it. How are you? I'm fine. How was the drive? It was. You're on standby. You know that, right? What's that? Susan. All right. You want to do it again? No. Yeah, yeah I do. do it again. <laughs> Take two. How was the drive? It was uh, interesting. Okay, here now, how we have to do ours, mine again, is you messed it up. <laughs> it was on. It, no, it wasn't, because okay. I never touched it. Okay. Hey, it's a cool and carbon's are cold, huh? Oh, it is. <laughs> so, yeah. well. it's an All right, so we're at, what is this place called? Um, oh, the we, Country well, Cupboard. Country Cupboard. It's a midnight. The Country Cupboard and Bake Shop. In uh, Stark City. In Stark. Yep. Stark City, uh, Missouri. I'm here with uh, Jerry and Susan, and they took me to lunch, and we're going to have this awesome sandwich that Jerry used on the sandwich challenge. <laughs> I made the sandwich, but this is why I modeled it after. Oh, okay, you modeled it after this yeah. one. Yeah. So we're going to have lunch, and then they're going to take me around. Terry, you would love it here at this Amish store, and I would be broker. Is broker a word? I'd be broke as a joke. <laughs> more broke. There you go. So we're going to have 
lunch. I want to show these people this sandwich. Terry, you can come anytime you want. See, Terry's retired. She won't let me retire. She said the toys have to be paid off before I can retire. So do you take today off because you've got... Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so this is what I'm having. I'm having a wheat on wheat bread. I'm having pickle, lettuce. It's called honey turkey. Mm -hmm and jumping jack which is a pepper jack cheese with mustard mayo everything so that's what it is guys there you go we'll see you when we get back from eating all right so this is where we've we had lunch at it is the country cupboard and bait shop guys awesome sandwiches drew over at drew's lens you would love this place that was the, the best sandwich I've ever had. And it's in the middle of cornfields and soybean fields right here on the corner. It's only like a half a mile from uh, Jerry's place. All right, we're gonna get into the Kawasaki and head back to the ranch. So I don't know if it's right here hanging out or what. Yeah. So she's used to it. Now she's too big to go over it. There's JJ. JJ. What are you doing? Now she's, we're not doing, we don't mess with her because the moment is like you need that. Yeah. And it's too big of an area. Yeah. And over here, my stud horse. Yeah. He's a, a paint. Yep. And uh, he has, has all his area right there. And he shares the donkeys that we're going to go to make the air fix in the fence. And then our, here comes our herd of goats. Some more goats. To the side, the buck over there, the black over here, and the over there. We got seven more coming here in the end of the month. And the, we're, we're, fat, we're replacing the fence because we, we we first put it up, we put it up wrong. So are they uh, boar goats? Yeah, boar and, and Spanish kinko mix. Spanish kinko. Yes. But he's he's pulled, so he has no horns. Uh, and some of the babies, the younger babies, don't have horns either because they're pulled also. Yeah. They, they pull from the dad. So, you might hate out here because they, you know, they're not like they don't have any grass, but they don't like, you know. Yeah. They're picky. Yeah, they're picky. So this little one over here was going to be our bull calf, but we're not going to. He's not, he's growing okay, but the guy we bought him from did recommend we keep him as a bull calf. So he's on the market wagon. And so is the next one over. She should have gone, but we missed her. Yeah. And then this big one that's walking towards us, thats he's going to freezer camp pretty soon. Yeah. And then the one on the, the far uh, right is Trudy, who was our freezer baby. She got frostbit on her ears and nose. And that's why so short. Oh, I can see him. Yes, and yeah. the guy brought brought them brought her to us because he didn't want to bottle feed her, and we always bottle feed because that's yeah. how we've increased our, our personal herd. And so she's going to go, when we work the cow, she's going to go out into the herd to be a mama. She's yeah, she's two and a half, she's three years old this yeah. uh, February, next February. Yeah. And this is our, our, our first field one, we call it, you know, these are our paddocks, and this is our field. Yeah. And we're, we're going to go right in, right down, check out the this is. And our fence actually ends, our property ends where that, that tree line is. Oh, okay. Is that an active green? Yeah, yeah, that's he's 
He's uh, actually, he's actually stunned drying corn, huh? I don't hear running. Yeah, that's... Earlier I heard it. Okay, that's it. He has dryer over here. He dries corn. Jockey into position. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, now that I got the camera on you, you don't want to say no. This is a tire water, and the cows mess with the floats. Yeah. So when they mess with the floats, it makes it overflow. Of course, it rained too, so that, that helped a little bit. Turn it, uh, push it this way here. Okay, push it this way. Is that less now or no? No, it's higher. Go ahead the other way. Right there, right there, right there. There you go, there you go, that's it. So the pipe comes out from the ground, and it's just a pipe up there and you put a, a connector on it and the pipe has a slant to it so when you put your water valve on it, it depending on where the slant is you got to kind of make it even where it holds up but the cows like to push it around they, right they end up pushing around where water overflows yeah. so they have to find out every day or so and check out what's what they've done because you get this side they drink two or three times a day yeah they drink they drink about 50 gallons each a day One of them on a separate well? Yeah, each one of them on a separate line. No, this one here is on the well that's over here that feeds my son's house. Oh, okay. And it, it, it's this one and the two across the, the creek.
and I, I'm very, what do you call it? Um, courteous. Courteous, or uh, that's another word for it here. Um, Conservation wise? Well, well, no, the deer came from the other. The deer was over here, uh, and that next to this pine tree here, or this uh, uh, cedar tree here. Yeah. It was on the other side of the fence. Ethical. And I didn't shoot it because it was on the other side of the fence. Exactly. So, I, morals. I have my, mor my morals. And after I t afterwards, I talked about, told my neighbor about it. He goes, Why didn't you shoot it? And I said, Because it was on your side. And he said, If you see it, shoot it. And go get it. And I said, Okay. I, I didn't have that permission beforehand. I wanted to let you Always, know. always take the time to get permission. Yep, and I didn't bother. We walked around down that, down that thing. There was just a nice little eight point. You know, and yeah. he, was, he, was, he was just taking his time. But I've seen lots of deer run, jump our fence here and run down the, that fence row. There's actually our fence row right there. You can't really tell. But they run down towards that pile of brush and then they disappear from there. Yeah. So we, you know, I, listen, I, have, I have one video or one camera picture that has 17 deer in it. Oh wow. In this field here. Will come. Hey, Sparky! That's the baby of the father who was out there earlier. Oh, okay. And the mama we we lost this summer from the heat. Oh. That, that horrible heat that we had. And we just and had, we had what do they call that? A leopard um, uh, print? Uh, I don't know. What, I guess you can't. I don't know what you call it though. It's brown and gray and, and white and cream and you know it's pretty as heck. He's the one that's on our, a lot of our videos in the beginning. Yeah. That's what he's. That's him. Sparky. Okay, look, I bet you like you're talking to him. Bye, Sparky. See you next time. So, hey, guys, we came out here, or I came out here, uh, to visit uh, Susan and Jerry, get a tour of their uh, farm. Absolutely, this is huge. 116 acres. 116 acres. You don't realize how big that is until you drive it like you're riding a bull in a side-by-side. -side. <laughs> but that's that's life on the farm, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, thank you guys for having me over. Anytime. Um, I know it was, uh, hey, I'm going to Jerry's tomorrow on the live. <laughs> but, uh, and I thought I had called him and Terry goes, well, don't you think you should call him? I said, I thought, she goes, no, you didn't. I said, I, I gotta get a hold of him. So, uh, he was uh, cordial and invited me over. It's on my way as I'm going down to Waynesville and Fort, Fort Leonard Wood. Uh, had to be there tomorrow uh, for a celebration of life, like I said before, of a dear friend of mine. And I couldn't pass up the opportunity to come over here and visit their farm. So guys, we absolutely love you. Remember, be kind to one another. Help somebody in need and always, always think of that. Yep, Bet. thanks, Bet. I thank you, brother. No problem. Thank, thank All right, you. remember, brothers for life, okay? Hey, guys, we love you. God bless you, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.